Hi there, Assalamualaikum and welcome to my channel folks. My name is Muhammad Hazim Wakyudin bin Bakhtia. I'm from UITM Sarawak Samarahantu campus. Currently, this is my third semester studying in Diploma of Tourism Management under the Faculty of Hotel and Tourism Management. And today in this video, I'm going to teach you on how to save our oceans. So, I've been listed some ways of saving the oceans. I'll then show you some of the facts on what really happened to our ocean right now. So, let's get started. Alright, so, why ocean? The ocean produces over half of the world's oxygen and absorbs 50 times more carbon dioxide than our atmosphere. Climate regulation covering 70% of the Earth's surface, the ocean transports heat from the equator to the poles, regulating our climate and weather patterns. There's a quote from Robert Swan, the greatest danger to our planet is the belief that someone else will save it. So, why should we care about the ocean? Waste is what killing our oceans. According to statistics, plastic bottle. More than 8 million tons of plastic bottles in the sea each year. Of the 260 million tons of plastic in the world produces each year, about 10% ends up in the ocean. Cans, 1% of the 45.1 billion non-recycled cans got littered and found their way into the sea. That's 451 million cans added to the sea floor. Paper, paper pollution is another effect of paper waste and it's a serious problem. Pulp and paper is the third largest polluter of air, water and soil. So, what can we do to save the ocean at home? First thing first, conserve water. Use less water to access runoff and waste water will not flow into the ocean. Second, reduce pollutants. Choose non-toxic chemicals and dispose of herbicides, pesticides and cleaning products properly. Third, reduce waste. Cut down on what you throw away. So, next, what are the ways to save the ocean around town? Firstly, shop wisely. Choose sustainable seafood, buy less plastic and bring a reusable bag. Second, reduce vehicle pollution. Use fuel efficient vehicles, carpool or ride a bike. Third, Use less energy. Choose energy efficient light bulbs and don't overset your thermostat. Last but not least, what can we do to save ocean anywhere, anytime? The simplest way is to be a volunteer. For cleanups at the beach and in your community, you can get involved in protecting your watershed too. To sum up this topic, there must be no glass, no cans, no cardboard, no paper should go overboard, and definitely no plastic. Never throw anything overboard that doesn't decompose quickly in water. It could destroy and kill aquatic life. So, let's put a stop on this irresponsible activity and start to save the planet. It's about the air we breathe. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. Comment down below for any other interesting content. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.